Our story begins with the fact that at night, in one brightly colorful quarter, the robbers surrounded the main character named Luoli. A bald guy named Snake told our hero to start running away and not try to fight. All beaten up, Luoli, with a smile on his face, asked Snake to give him more time to collect the money. A man put out a cigarette on a guy. And he said that Luoli asked him the same thing a week ago. After that, Snake came closer to our hero and said that he was very brave. The conversation between the men was interrupted by a fair-haired guy, he asked his friend, or did he know what our hero spent all the money on? Without waiting for an answer, the guy himself said that Luoli spent all the money on a new iPhone. From this everyone began to laugh and say how stupid and weak-minded our hero was. But after that guy said that Luoli bought it for a girl named Jia Jia. And she, after entering the university, disappeared along with the phone. The robbers began to laugh even more and louder. One of them said that our hero and his ex-girlfriend were on completely different levels. The blonde said that Jia Jia is a student who managed to enter Hyben Genetics University. Anyone who enters this university becomes a warrior. In this world, warriors occupied a high place in society, they had fame, wealth and power. Of course, not everyone could become a warrior, only one person out of a hundred can have suitable genes. Somehow, the robbers guessed that the main character had sent his application to this incredible university. The guys started laughing because Luo Li still dreamed of becoming a warrior, even though three of his applications were rejected. From these words the robbers began to laugh even more. Unexpectedly, one of them noticed Song Jia Jia in the distance. Luo Li looked at the girl and immediately became embarrassed by her beauty. Jia Jia was incredibly beautiful and feminine. Suddenly, the girl noticed the protagonist's gaze on her. Her new boyfriend asked the girl whether Luo Li was her friend. The girl with a smile on her face said that they were not very close. Luo Li looked at her like an angel, he asked Jia Jia how she was doing. The guy hasn't seen her for a month. The girl looked at him strangely at first. And then, she came closer to our hero. And leaning over, she told the guy with an angry face that he was with her in different worlds, and therefore Luo Li had absolutely no chance. These words incredibly deeply hurt the soul of our hero. He thought that if they couldn't be lovers, they could at least be friends. Luo Li told the girl to look at herself. After all, in fact, she was friends with bandits, and also our hero said that Jia Jia was walking with a guy without ambitions. In response to these offensive words, the girl once again told the main character that he would never become a warrior, and that he would never get into the upper class. She asked the guy to stop dreaming and accept the harsh reality. And after these words, she threw away the phone given to Luo Li. And then she said that she didn't need him anymore. After the conversation, Jia Jia returned to her new boyfriend and, clinging to him, she said that it was time for them to go. And after a few seconds, the couple, in front of our hero's eyes, leaves this place. Luo Li was depressed, he took the phone and looked at it for a long time. At that moment, a blonde man approached him and gave our hero a slap on the head with the words that he should stop dreaming about the best. Snake, picking up a bat, asked the main character how he would pay him. Luo Li, having come to his senses, raised his head and said that he had paid them several times, and after these words the guy asked the bandits why they couldn't let him go. Snake came close to the guy and said that he was very easy to rob. After these words, all the bandits began to smile suspiciously and giggle. The blonde suggested to his comrade that instead of talking, they should start beating the main character. Something happened inside Luoli, and in an instant he kicks the robber in the stomach. So much so that he almost loses consciousness. Snake became incredibly angry because of this. He immediately ordered the rest of the guys to quickly beat up Luoli. Our hero stood calmly in place and looked at the man with a penetrating gaze. After the beating, Snake threw aside the reinforcement. And he said that Luo Li still has three days left, but if he doesn't find the money, then Snake will personally give our hero into slavery to some ant. Luo Li heard all this, but due to the pain and wounds, he could not make a sound. And after the bandits left, our hero opened his eyes and began to regain his breathing. Some time later, the guy still found the strength to stand up and lean against the wall to make it easier for him to walk. Luo Li spits out one of his teeth. And he promises himself that he will take revenge on the bandits for what they did to him. After some time, the main character reaches his area. Suddenly, someone starts calling him from the side. And then, out of the darkness, a girl named Tang Xian comes out. 
And when she saw that the main character was all wounded and beaten, tears began to well up in her eyes. Luo Li began to calm Xian down and say that everything was fine with him. The girl nevertheless realized that the guy had a showdown with bandits, and they brutally beat him. But Luo Li continued to lie to the end, he even began to wave his hands, showing that nothing hurt him. Seeing this, Xian wiped away her tears. And then, she suddenly ran somewhere and told the guy to wait for her here. After some time, the girl brought a first aid kit, and taking everything she needed, she began to treat our hero's wounds. A couple of minutes later, all the guy's wounds were healed and sealed. After all that had been done, Luo Li began to make fun of his girlfriend and asked her to cry less. Xian retold the doctor's words that crying helps you lose weight. Our hero laughed. And then, taking Xian by the cheek, he called the doctor stupid and said that the girl did not need to lose weight, since she was already very slim. To this, Xian asked the guy not to flatter her. After that, she said that the genetics university accepted her as a student. From these words, the guy was in a pleasant shock. Then, Xian asked our hero about his results. Luo Li knew that he had failed again, and if Xian found out, she would be very upset, as a result, the guy decides to tell her a lie. And therefore, he said that he would know his result only tomorrow when they were published. Xian was happy for our hero, she was completely sure that he, like her, would be accepted into the university. After this meeting, Luo Li went up to the apartment with a sad face and thought about what to do. Standing at the front door, the guy understood that no university would accept him with such terrible genes. And the moment our hero opened the door, a beaten and wounded stranger suddenly fell on him. Luo Li got scared and thought it was a thief. But the man grabbed the guy by the leg and asked him not to call the police, because otherwise someone would find him. The main character understood everything, and quickly dragged the guy inside, he slammed the door behind him. And in the corridor, Luo Li turns on the light to talk to the man. The main character raised the victim's head and asked him to tell about himself. The man said every time that he didn't have time. And then, he asked our hero whether he didn't want to become a warrior. Hearing these words, Luo Li was very surprised. Then, the mysterious man took out a bag from his pocket containing a syringe with liquid, and then he said that this was a genetic medicine. Gasping, the man said that this medicine was based on ancient medicine and therefore it was impossible to find. Our hero was shocked after hearing that he could leave this world if he took it, the chance of survival after taking this medicine was extremely small. Suddenly, the man bent Luo Li down and said that he didn't care what he did to him, the main thing was that the guy didn't give him to someone. And after these words, an unknown man, right before the eyes of our hero, leaves this world. The bag with the syringe remained lying on the floor. That same evening, the main character goes out to the balcony to rest, looking at the view, he thought about the words of that man. Suddenly, Luo Li thought for a moment and let go of all thoughts. And then, our hero realized that if he survived, he would become as noble as the rest, he would become what he dreamed of becoming. And so, the guy took a deep breath. He decides to inject himself with a mysterious medicine. After a few seconds, the main character began to scream and scream in incredible pain. And then he suddenly fell to the floor. So, Luo Li lay there until the morning. At one point, he first gradually regained consciousness. And then the guy suddenly opened his eyes. He slowly stood up and began to examine himself and his hands. Our hero realized that he was able to survive. This news made him very happy and he began to laugh loudly and wave his arms. Meanwhile, it was seven in the morning. Luo Li realized that he had slept the whole day, and on top of all this, the exam results were announced today, and the second stage was also carried out. After this, our hero takes out his phone and sees that he had 19 missed calls from Xian. Luo Li instantly runs to the bathroom to wash and clean up. The moment he took a closer look at his hair. And I realized that they changed their color as a result of improved genes. But the guy didn't attach much importance to this, after brushing his teeth, he went to the shower. And after all these procedures, Luo Li dressed up well, he also felt the incredible strength that filled his new body. The main character could no longer wait for the reaction of others to his new self. After some time, our hero comes to the place where the results are announced. There, Xian meets him. When the guys were talking about there, Snake approached them, and then the man began to ask Luo Li if he brought him money. Xian immediately came to the defense of her friend and began asking the bandits what kind of money they were talking about. 
The red-haired guy with the bat looked at Xian and said that she was good to become his girlfriend. The main character didn't like this very much, he immediately stood up for his friend and said that they would never be together. This made Snake even more angry, he immediately ordered his comrades to break Luo Li's legs. But, at one point, a trainer named Khan appeared. He easily jumped onto the highest pole. And then, he said that now he would announce the exam results, and Mr. Khan also asked all unnecessary people to leave the site. For some reason the robbers were afraid of the guy's words. Before leaving, Snake said that he will be waiting for our hero here, and therefore Luo Li should pray that the results will take longer to be announced. Xian heard all this, and covering the guy with her hand, she told him not to be afraid of anything, since she promised to protect him. To this, Luo Li gave his friend a light click. And then, he said that the girl could protect him now, but not in the rest of her life. Xian said that she can do anything. Suddenly, in the distance the girl saw Jia Jia. Xian ran sharply to her friend, along the way asking her how long she spent here. Xian did not know what happened between her and Luo Li, and therefore, taking her friend by the hands, the girl said that our hero was standing nearby. Hearing these words, Jia Jia thought a little, she didn't know how to present to Xian that she and Luo Li were no longer together. At one point, Jia Jia told Xian not to go to the main character anymore. And turning away, the girl said that if Xian goes back to Luo Li, then he will disgrace himself. Turning her head towards her friend, Jia Jia said that our hero was an ordinary person, without special powers and genes. From these words, Xian was shocked, she immediately began to ask the girl what happened, because she thought that Luo Li had somehow offended her. Jia Jia herself admitted that she deceived the guy, and then she said that they were different people. Xian said that the grades had not yet been announced, and Luo Li could enroll. The girl did not listen to her friend's words, she shouted that the grades had already been published, and as a result, the main character failed the test. After these words, the girl asked Jia Jia, or does she remember how Luo Li protected her every time while she was bullied? Xian decided to be friends with our hero despite his status as a commoner. And after her words, the girl turned around and went back to Luo Li. At the same time, Mr. Han announced the exam results. And now the turn has come to the main character. The guy, holding Xian's hand, hoped for the best. Mr. Khan said that the guy passed the theory test, became a physical test, but he had a failure in the genes, and therefore the exam was not passed. Suddenly, Luo Li turned to the examiner and asked him to retake the gene test. As soon as the bandits heard this, they immediately began to laugh, and all because if our hero doesn't succeed, he will have to pay a fine. Jia Jia's friend watched this, she thought that Luo Li was leading himself to the end. Unexpectedly, Mr. Han allowed the guy to retake the test. He took out a special device. And then he jumped off the column. After turning on the device, the man asked Luo Li to place his hand on the screen so that he could take a DNA sample. The main character, without thinking twice, put his hand on the device. And suddenly, an incredible beam began to appear from it, it was very bright and large. Everyone around was in shock, and Jia Jia, due to her great strength, could not even look at it. Even the tribal god's genes were not as strong as Luo Li's. Mr. Han, with a trembling voice, asked the guy to try again. Our hero, without thinking twice, pointed his hand at the device, and it showed the same result. Mr. Khan made sure that the machine worked and our hero was truly so strong. After the test result, our hero asked, what now? Mr. Hai thought for a moment, and then he said that since his genetic power was more than 400 percentages, our hero passes the test. Xian immediately jumps up and begins to rejoice even more for our hero. She suddenly ran towards Luo Li, and jumping into his arms, she said that she knew that the guy would succeed. During this, the main character told the girl that he had one unfinished business. At one point, Luo Li turned to the robbers and asked them whether they had any other questions for him. The red-haired guy with the bat began to shake with fear and because of this, he said that they no longer needed his money. The guy looked at the frightened bandit with a smile, and suddenly, that guy drops his weapon. And then he falls to his knees. He crawls to Luo Li and asks him for forgiveness and mercy. Snake and his friend also fell on their knees in front of the main character. The others saw this situation and whispered that our hero was cruel to the robbers. At this moment, Luo Li was thinking about how to deal with this situation. He looked at the crowd of judging candidates. And then, 
he thought that if the old him was here, Luo Li would hardly be helped by anyone. And having finally accepted all this, our hero sends the guy flying off his feet. Then, he instantly approaches Snake and grabs his head. The main character tried to throw him, but he fell and wanted to say something to the guy. But he immediately took and hit the bandit's hand on the ground. And then he continued to hit it until he finally broke it. Snake, in tears, begged our hero for mercy. To this, Luo Li said that he would break his other arm and leave him alive. After all this, Xian runs up to Luo Li and clings to him, she says that he was incredible. And then, as if nothing had happened, they went somewhere. From the side, Jia Jia and her friend watched them. The girl thought that Luo Li had forgiven her and therefore wanted to meet her again. But, everything was wrong, when the girl tried to talk to him, Luo Li simply walked past without paying attention to her. Mr. Han saw this and immediately praised the guy. The teacher thought that the guy would reach great heights, since he could both crawl and fly, he knew when to endure without forgetting what he had once lost. Three days later, in the university gym, Mr. Khan gave a lesson to his students. There, he talked about the level of genetic power of a warrior. He said that some of the disciples were not very strong and so he asked them not to worry as their strength would increase over time. At this moment, one of the students named Wang Zichuan decided to ask the teacher a question, he asked Mr. Han how they would increase their strength. The man clapped his hands and said that it was a great question. The teacher said that in addition to gaining levels, one should not forget about the essence of animals and wild flowers. Some flowers could help students increase their abilities. Just like weapons, equipment or energy weapons. All this, students will have to learn after increasing their current rank. And today, Mr. Khan will explain to the guys the ranking system of warriors, there were only five ranks, the first is ordinary, the second is adept, the third is expert, the fourth is master, the fifth is legend. Each rank was divided into levels and sublevels. And each time you increase your rank, your strength will increase. After a whole month of study and training, the students fought robots with intelligence. Our hero destroyed annoying robots over and over again. His friend watched him from the side, he said that the guy was incredible. The guy said that Mr. Khan taught them hand-to-hand -hand combat, and then disappeared somewhere. Suddenly, Luo Li is attacked again by another robot. When our hero was preparing to attack the robot, his heart suddenly began to beat very strangely. And because of this, the guy had to not attack, but defend himself from the robot's blow. The main character was able to block, but the blow was so powerful that it easily sent Luo Li flying. Without slowing down, the robot began to approach our hero to attack him again. The robot succeeded, and when the distance between them was several tens of centimeters, the robot extended its hand with an explosive device directly to the guy's face. Suddenly, the hand of a heavy robot stopped a few millimeters from the protagonist's face. And then, the robot gradually began to disappear from sight. Shuchin immediately ran up to the guy and asked if he was okay. For a long time, Luo Li could not understand what had happened, he suddenly felt that energy began to increase in his body. Our hero sat down on the floor and rolled up his sleeve. There, he saw tense veins, the guy thought that he had increased his level for the second time. Our hero's friend confirmed Luo Li's guesses. Our hero did not fully believe in this, and therefore he called up the system window to understand this in more detail. The guy summoned VR bots with 500 percentages power. And then, in an instant, he began to attack them. And with one blow, the main character was able to destroy a rather strong robot. From that blow, a large hole appeared on the robot's face from Luo Li's fist. Xu Chen was incredibly surprised by this, because he knew that not everyone could cope with such robots. At one point, the system began to congratulate the main character, she said that the guy was returning to level B with a gene strength of 700 percentages. From such a number of percent, Luo Li's friend simply could not find words, he was surprised that our hero, at one time, received so many percent of power. But Luo Li somehow didn't care, because it was just some 300 percentages. Xu Chen still couldn't come to his senses, he even remembered that student of the year raised her level yesterday and only received 200 percentages for it. After training, the guys returned through the park to their home. Our hero kept thinking about this increase, it all seemed strange to him since he increased the level for the first time, and it doubled. After some time, Luo Li comes to his dormitory. He goes into his room, and sitting on the bed, the guy thinks that he is special. In order not to burden himself with unnecessary thoughts, 
he decides to lie down and open the phone. There, the guy sees a notification from Exion. In the message, the girl invited the guy to have breakfast together, and she also promised to share good news with him. After discussing some details, our hero advanced to the meeting. After some time, Luo Li approaches the large canteen building. There, Xian was already waiting for him. The girl was eating on a gyri at that time. And when she saw our hero, she ran to him without hesitation. When she began to speak, the Anajirai hit her in the wrong place and so the girl began to choke. Luo Li tapped the girl on the back and with his help she was able to regain her breathing. The guy once again told her that Xian should eat carefully, he reminded her of an incident in childhood when she almost left this world because of such a trifle. When the girl cleared her throat, she immediately asked whether the guy had increased his rank. Our hero said that he made it 700 percentages, and then, he asked Xian what was her good news. The girl smiled and said that she sent it to Luo Li's phone. Showing the phone screen, the guy asked the girl where she got it from. Xian turned her gaze away and smiled proudly. She said that yesterday she was chosen as a student for Mr. Long's special class. Xian simply exchanged her rewards for this place. Our hero began to say that he thought that according to the rules it was forbidden to exchange rewards with other participants, and those who did this would be punished. Xian hit the guy on the shoulder and told Luo Li not to tell anyone about this. Putting her finger to the guy's mouth, she said that this secret should remain between them, and only. Xian said that she joined the student union, and their school was to hold a welcome party for a high school honors student who was returning for an internship. The girl hinted that our hero should go with her. But Luo Li immediately refused because he did not like being in society. Then, Xian began to beg the guy, but he still refused her. This went on for some time. Later, the main character returns to his room and lies down on the bed. Before going to bed, he decided to read the technique that Xian gave him. Suddenly, a notification of emergency information came to his phone. Our hero, who slept so sweetly, immediately woke up. Our hero got out of bed and looked at the phone screen. He watched and listened for a long time as the device's speakers shouted about an urgent meeting. And finally, it dawned on the guys that they urgently needed to run to the training room. The guys quickly got ready and ran to the meeting. After some time, the main character and his friend were already at the meeting place. And as soon as the guys got into formation, Teacher Han stopped the stopwatch. And then, he said that all those who were late and did not show up would be fined 30 credits. Immediately after these words, three more students came running into the room, two of them said the reason for their lateness, and one of them was sad because he owed the teacher 30 credits. But Teacher Han did not want to listen to anything or anyone, he said that anyone who interferes with the lesson will be fined another 20 credits. The three guys were both horrified and shocked at the same time. Also, for those who managed to arrive on time, Teacher Han gave a nice bonus, he said that those who arrived would be awarded 5 credit points. Then, the teacher began to tell why he called all the students. As it turned out, he received an emergency message about people who were trapped by strange animals in the vicinity of the mountains, and the students must deal with this urgent matter. One of the students thought that the teacher was joking, he said that they had only been studying here for a month, and also their ranks were too low to go on such a dangerous mission. Teacher Han also thought that this task would be very dangerous for the guys and this was not their goal originally. But then, the man decided to make small adjustments and therefore the students will take on this task. It was a very dangerous thing. But only vegetables grew in the greenhouse, not heroes. And Teacher Khan's team should only contain worthy warriors. After all this, the teacher said that a guy named Song Jae would lead the mission. When our hero saw this guy, he immediately thought. After all, Song Jae was Jia Jia's new boyfriend. He immediately began to remember the moment when they first met in that alley. Jia Jia, in the arms of her boyfriend, looked strangely at our hero. Our hero's friend said that their love could return again. At this, Luo Li became very angry, and so the guy told Shi Chen that if he spoke about it again, he would be destroyed. When the girl left the building, Luo Li's friend said that she was very hot. Suddenly, the teacher said that the students only had 10 minutes, then the city's defenses would close, and if anyone remained outside they would be fined 50 credits. And as soon as the teacher said that the guys had 5 minutes, they immediately rushed to their destination. After some time, the team ran to the collapsed city. The students walked in the dark for a long time and looked for terrible scary monsters. Unexpectedly, 
the main character's group was attracted by one very strange sound. When the guys turned around, they saw a monster lying on the roof of the building. Luo Li immediately pointed his camera and looked at what kind of monster they were all looking at. As it turned out, in front of them lay a cub of a spotted thundercat. Our hero's friend decided to deal with this monster on his own. One of the students did not really like the fact that Xu Chen climbed forward again. A few seconds later, Xu Chen was already trying to inflict damage on the wild beast. The guy managed to make a good blow, and thanks to him, Xu Chen sent the monster flying. As a result, the wild cat flew into the wall of one of the destroyed buildings. And the moment the dust settled, Xu Chen saw the wild beast use magic to deal with him. And a few seconds later, the monster shot from the sphere of its mouth directly at Xu Chen, but the guy was lucky because at the last moment, the beam changed its trajectory, thereby not hitting the guy. The fat man was seriously scared. And the next moment, when he turned around, he saw the monster attacking him. And then, he managed to knock down a rather heavy boy. When the monster was preparing a second attack with a beam, the fat man was able to dodge it and safely move away from the beast. Jiujia saw this and wanted to go help her classmate. But at the last moment Song stopped her, he asked the girl not to rush, because the guy wanted the fat man to run a little more. Hearing this, Jiujia asked her boyfriend why he wanted to do this. Yi Song said that the fat man had to make the beast lose more energy, because this would make it easier for them to defeat the evil monster. Our hero also watched this battle, he noticed that his friend was stubborn, since during the entire battle he never asked for help. Immediately after this phrase, the fat man huddled against the wall and, sitting on his knees, began to cover his head with his hands. And this helped him protect himself from the claws of a wild beast. Immediately after receiving damage, the guy started screaming and calling for help. In a moment, he saw Jiajia's leg flash past him. The girl came completely to the defense of her wounded classmate. First she took her stance. And then, taking good aim. The girl delivers an accurate and incredibly fast blow to the face of a terrible monster. Because of this, the monster is pushed back several meters. Then, the wild beast took a stance and began to use an attack with a sphere in its mouth. Classmates thought that the girl would die and that she would not be able to repel such an incredible attack. Some even told Jiajia to be careful. And at the moment when the sphere was already flying straight at the girl, Jiajia did not panic, she jumped up sharply. And then, Gathering all her strength, she decided to repel this strong attack with her foot. And she succeeded, the girl threw the sphere up as if it were a feather, and as a result, the sphere simply exploded in the air. Next, Jia Jia landed on her hand, and with excellent amplitude she jumped straight onto the wild beast. And when she was right behind him, the girl was able to destroy the monster with her feet. As a result, the animal lay on the ground without consciousness and signs of life. The girl turned out to be the winner in this extremely unusual and incredible fight. Her classmates were shocked by their classmates' strength, they all agreed that Jia Jia deserved her rank. The girl's friend kept talking about her amazing strength, she said that Jia Jia had 500 percentages genetic power. And her friend kept telling me how talented she was. But Jia Jia didn't listen to her friends, she just looked at Luo Li and thought how much better Song was than him. After all this, the girl jumped off the collapsed building and went back into the crowd. Song noticed that his girlfriend was looking at the main character. But, Jia Jia lay on Song's shoulder and said that Luo Li would never compare to him in his life. Song liked the girl's answer, he told her to keep talking like that, otherwise he could calmly destroy our hero. After the conversation, Jia Jia approached the destroyed monster to try to take the crystal from it, but, unfortunately, it was not there. After some time, the squad moved to a large hangar to spend the night there. The guys suggested making a fire, but Jiajia's friend was against it, she knew that the light from the fire could attract the attention of other animals nearby. The captain of the squad asked the girl not to worry about it, he said that he had set traps at the exit and therefore they would easily find out if someone was trying to attack them. The girl continued to stand her ground and say that some animals could easily bypass these traps thanks to their abilities. The commander did not react very well to these words, he asked the girl to take the post of leader herself if she doubted his abilities. Luo Li and his comrade were sitting somewhere nearby. The fat man said that Song was too arrogant because he did not allow questions to be asked. To this, our hero said that Song was just the leader of the squad and so the guy asked his friend to do what Song asked. At the same time, 
the rest of the students were sitting around the fire and singing songs, they were incredibly confident that they were safe because of their strong leader. Suddenly, Song approached our hero. He, with an ominous expression on his face, asked the guy for some help. Luo Li immediately asked how he could help. Song said he needed someone on patrol to avoid accidents. Our hero agreed without thinking twice and said that he would stand on the first patrol, and then he would need a replacement within four to five hours. But Song didn't like it, he said that our hero was more talented and stronger than the other participants and therefore he didn't need help in such simple things. Hearing this, Luo Li looked at the group leader strangely. The fat man intervened in their conversation, he said that he would help our hero, because four hours of sleep would be completely enough for him. Song, having heard the words of his comrade, asked him why he did not want to stand guard instead of our hero. The fat man didn't like these words at all. He was ready to start a fight with the leader, but at the last moment he was stopped by the main character. He pushed his comrade aside and said that he agreed with the leader's conditions. Song liked it, and when he passed by Li Luo, he whispered to the guy that if he accidentally fell asleep and someone was destroyed, Song will have to do his job and convey the protagonist's desertion to the school. Some time later, when everyone was already asleep, our hero sat at the column and watched what was happening around. It was a dark night outside, and in the depths of the forest that was next to the temporary base, Luo Li heard strange sounds. At the same moment, a fat man approached him. Our hero immediately asked his comrade what he forgot here. The fat man wiped away the dirt, and sitting down, he told our hero to go and rest while he stood on patrol, but Luo Li didn't want to let his classmates down, so he told the fat man to go back to bed. To this, the friend said that he could not sleep for a long time because of the very comfortable beds. Suddenly, Luo Li orders the guy to be quiet for a while. Our hero listens carefully to every rustle. Some strange sounds were actually coming from the forest. Our hero was completely sure of this. But the fat man never heard anything. He tried to find out from Luo Li what he had been saying for a long time. And suddenly, wild animals appeared from the thick and tall grass. There were six of them, and all six monsters rushed like a bullet straight to the headquarters of the guys. Luo Li immediately woke up everyone who was sleeping. And as soon as the classmates opened their eyes, they saw several crazy monsters appear in front of them. They immediately began to run away from them. At that time, the main character began to fight and protect the rest of his comrades. He hit one of the monsters with great force like this, that he flew a few meters back. But the monster didn't care. He immediately attacked our hero again. Luo Li was able to dodge the beast's attack. And when he attacked the guy again, Luo Li suddenly grabbed the monster and he threw it over his shoulder. Also, the rest of my classmates tried to cope with the monsters. All ordinary animals were easily destroyed. And now the time has come for the final and difficult battle, because a fiery beast appeared on the horizon that was five times larger than a man. When the monster jumped from the roof, he began to shoot fire darts from himself that flew in all directions of the room. Each of the students tried to dodge the hail of these bullets. And then, Jijia's friend took knives and tried to attack this strong beast. The fat man at that moment stood behind the column and supported those who were now fighting for their lives. That monster began to fight against three students, but it was clear that the guys did not have enough experience in this fight. The sounds of battle could be heard in the surrounding area. When Jijia's friend had no strength left, she suddenly remembered the leader and asked for his help. Also, one seriously injured boy asked Song for help. Meanwhile, Song just sat in place, he waited for King Lynx to bring the guys to a terrible state and then the leader would show his strength so that in the end everyone would consider him a hero. Luo Li watched King Lynx from the side. He noticed that the chief had a very old wound on his leg. Immediately after this, the monster stood up and growled. With a terrible cry, he stepped on the ground, and in a place with dust, the beast released sparks which flew straight to Jiajia's friend. She dodged as best she could. But in the end the girl stumbled over the body of the destroyed beast. And because of this, she began to fall backwards. King Lynx noticed this. And without thinking twice, he ran straight to the poor girl. The beast crushed her with its huge body, causing the girl to bleed from her mouth. Jiajia's friend screamed in pain and called for help. And at one moment, a hungry and wild beast is going to eat her. Suddenly, his jaw suddenly closes. It turned out to be our hero, and he used a special technique. Thanks to her, Luo Li was able to break the monster's jaw. 
When the girl came to her senses, she suddenly looked at her savior and was very surprised when she saw that she was saved by the main character. Luo Li asked the girl to be more careful next time. The girl was shy, and then, thanked our hero for saving his life. At this time, the monster was planning something. The others began to notice that something was wrong with the royal link. Everyone instantly turned their heads to look at this event. As it turned out, the royal genes inside the animal began their mutation. As soon as the fat man saw what was happening here, he immediately shouted to our hero to immediately run away from here. At the call of the fat man, everyone else began to run away from the battlefield, but not our hero, he remained boldly standing in his place and awaiting further battle. When the fat man turned around, he was horrified that his friend was still standing in place. He warned the guy again and asked him to quickly run away from there. At this time, the beast looked at our hero with an incredible gaze. Luo Li did the same, he did not take his eyes off the animal for a second. Classmates did not understand what the main character was going to do, one of them thought that the guy was going to destroy the monster. The girl was shocked by this news, she thought that Luo Li was crazy. The fat man heard the girl's words and said that the guy was at level B. He also told the girl about the real level of our hero, and therefore Luo Li had every chance of defeating this monster. The fat man's new girlfriend was very surprised when she heard, but what percentage was our hero? But then, she reminded the guy of one theory, the theory sounded like warriors were much weaker than animals of their level. Xin suggested that they quickly run away from here, because if they don't do this, the monster will destroy them. The detachment commander watched this from the side. Looking at all this, he realized that he was mistaken about our hero, because he considered him too weak. He considered Luo Li a fool, since not everyone would dare to take such a step, Song also wanted to finish off the monster so that all the glory would go to him. And so, the monster took his first step, he released a fiery tornado. The fat man was very worried about the safety of the main character. The girl instantly thought that even the strongest warriors would not be able to avoid this attack, and if our hero got in his way, the monster would simply destroy him. Immediately after these words, the monster strengthened its whirlwind several times. But, Luo Li was somehow able to find a loophole and dodge every stream. Song was incredibly shocked at how Luo Li was able to evade in such a position and situation. At one point, this tornado disappeared along with an explosion, from which our hero was easily able to dodge. King Lynx let his guard down for a second, and Luo Li saw this and immediately began to attack his opponent. The guy delivered an accurate blow right to the beast's nose. And at that moment when the heavy monster flew up, the main character grabbed him by the huge and fluffy tail, and using his incredible strength, Luo Li threw the beast into a bend. A few seconds later, due to the impact, a large cloud of dust rose around the opponents, and as a result, King Lynx was defeated, and our hero remained safe and sound. When all the fuss was over, the rest of the participants came out of their hiding places and started shouting that they were saved. Some even shed a tear. The squad leader stood behind the column. He didn't like the fact that Luo Li was able to destroy the monster and save everyone. After the battle, Luo Li went to talk to his ex-girlfriend's friend, Jia Jia looked at the guys jealously. She even got angry because her friend was talking to him. At one point, Xiu Chen approached Song and with bad words asked the guy how he could watch their destruction. Luo Li immediately intervened in their conversation, he pushed the fat man aside and said that the leader must have had his own reason for this. But, Xiu Chen was very angry, he said that their leader was not worthy to bear the title of warrior. Xu Chen began to shout at the captain and say that he was abandoning his comrades to their fate. The rest of their classmates had the same opinion about their leader, at some point, he seemed disgusting to them. In his defense, the leader said that he was just waiting for a chance to fight, and then he started talking bad things about the main character. Xu Chen became even more angry, he said that if it weren't for Luo Li, everyone would have been destroyed, Fatty also said that Song could easily deal with the monster since they have the same levels. And then, the fat man suggested to the rest of the guys that they hold a re-election of the leader, and almost all the participants agreed with him. Song heard this and said that his classmates would be in trouble if they hurt him. Jia Jia's friend voted for the main character. Some of the group refused to vote for Luo Li. Xiu Chen was at a loss, he knew that Song would not let them go even if they refused to vote. Song liked the decision of his classmates, he said that after the task he would give them two special herbs, 
and the captain also promised the guys a good salary after graduation. The couple really liked what was said, and they happily agreed with the words of their leader. After that, Song shouted to everyone that they would complete this mission perfectly under his leadership. At the same time, when the others were deciding their affairs, the main character was able to get a red crystal from the destroyed King Lynx. When Luo Li was holding it in his hands, a fat man came up to him and explained that the monster's red crystal could increase and strengthen the warrior's genes, this enhancement would replace months of training for him. Luo Li looked carefully at the crystal and realized that his reward would add 50% of his resistance. Xu Chen leaned on the main character, and when he heard his words, he was disappointed, because he thought that this crystal increased strength, not protection. Moments later, Luo Li decides to absorb the red crystal, and at that moment some red lightning appeared around him, which caused a certain mystery. Over time, when the main character came to his senses, he opened the access window and saw how his resistance stopped at 800 percentages. Luo Li realized that the medicine he received not only enhanced his characteristics, but also made him produce more from each herbal medicine. When the main character checked everything he wanted, he was unexpectedly called by Xu Chen to go in search of the missing people. After some time, the fat man told Luo Li that the people hiding had broken the satellite communication device, and they also did not want to leave their hiding place. Xu Chen took out a special device and activated it. After a few seconds, it drew a map of the area, which accurately described the positions of their opponents, namely the Cyclops base. After finding all the monsters, Xu Chen came out of hiding to look at them. When he looked out, he was very surprised and horrified. After all, before his eyes there were dozens of strong and resilient monsters. At the same time, Jiajia suggested that the guys call for support, since she thought that their classmates would not be able to cope with the monsters. A friend also had thoughts about this, she said that if they were surrounded, they would feel bad, so the girls decided to call more people. Song didn't want to invite anyone, he told the girls not to worry because he had his own plan. The captain looked suspiciously at Luo Li and said that it would be too easy for him if help also came here. A few minutes later, Song explained his plan, in short, the guy divided the squad into three parts. The first squad will save, the second squad will attract attention, and the third will treat the wounded. Then, the leader quickly distributed everyone into their groups. And at one moment, when the fat man listened carefully to everything, he realized that Luo Li was alone in the second team. This really alarmed the other guys. Song explained his actions by saying that the second team had to protect and therefore did not need a huge number of people. After this speech, Song approached our hero and said that he had greater power than him. And therefore, Luo Li was the best choice. After some time, the team began to implement a plan to rescue the survivors. A cyclops sat guarding one of the houses. But he was quickly destroyed by the main character and he showed a sign that everything was clear ahead. The rest of the squad ran straight behind Luo Li, and after some time, the team ran to the same 12-story building where the survivors were hiding. Looking at the first floor, the guys saw how the Cyclopes were eating pieces of very appetizing meat. Jia, Jia looked at all this, and gradually realized that it would be extremely difficult for them to get inside unnoticed. And at the same moment, wild wolves appeared behind the detachment and could pounce on them any minute. Looking at this situation, Luo Li suggests that the team climb up the building to the floor they need. The guys thought that our hero was joking, none of them understood how they should climb up. But there was no other way out, besides, on each window there was a place where you could rest. And immediately after these words, the main character was the first to climb to the top floor of a tall building. The team climbed higher and higher. With each floor, the distance to the ground increased. And after a few minutes of ascent, the main character still gets to the floor he needed, where all the survivors were sitting. Without thinking twice, Luo Li breaks the window and breaks in. There, he saw a group of people huddled together, it was clear that people were very scared. Luo Li said that he was a student from Hyben Genetics University, and that he had come to save all the survivors. The woman with the child began to cry with happiness, she could not believe that soon everyone would be saved. The girl also could not hold back her tears at this incredible moment. Grandfather, who had been sitting in the Yugra all the time, suddenly stood up and asked the guy whether he had come here alone. And then, going out to Luo Li and saying that he should have called for reinforcements because Grandfather thought that our hero would not be able to carry everyone away, but there was no need to call anyone, because any minute now the rest of the comrades should come here. 
As the guy said, his team arrived at the same moment. When Song went up to the floor, he saw that there were too many people there, he didn't like it very much. Grandfather told the guys that there used to be twenty more people here, those who survived used a defense system, which they eventually broke. And now, the Cyclops kept prisoners as food. Song still couldn't understand how they would save so many people. Jia Jia's friend understood that they would not be able to knock out the monsters, because they were too strong. At the same time, the main character thought about it, he knew that the Cyclopes were somewhat similar to monkeys, and therefore they would be able to save only part of the people. Song suggested that the team save only strong and healthy people. Hearing this, Luo Li asked the leader what to do with the others. The commander mercilessly said that they could get out on their own. The two men immediately panicked and they heard these words, both had families and did not want to leave this world. One of them even knelt before the main character and begged him for salvation. The guy already had a headache from these screams, he asked people to calm down. After the room fell silent, Luo Li told the leader that he did not agree with him. A classmate said the same thing. Song turned around and asked the guys to share their ideas about saving the survivors. The girl immediately said that they could call for reinforcements. But the leader did not agree with this, he said that help would have to come here for at least a day. Unexpectedly, Jia Jia approached the frightened family and invited them to follow her. Song saw all this, he started shouting that they could only take one, and the child would only slow them down. The parents begged the saviors to take the child, because this boy was the future for their family. Song lowered his head and said that he would only take one person with him. Unexpectedly, Luo Li proposed his idea, he said that the guys could take some of them out of here, and then return for the rest. The frightened girl immediately agreed with the words of our hero and said that it would be better this way. Song was again dissatisfied with something, he said that ordinary people could not hide their smell, and they also did not have enough potions to hide everyone. And suddenly, Luo Li thought a little more and said that he had found a solution to this problem. The guy decided to give his potion to those who need to hide their smell. Our hero said that everyone had an ampoule with the smell of Cyclops, thanks to it he would be able to spray some of the survivors. Grandfather really liked this idea, he praised the main character and said that he had the behavior of a true warrior. Suddenly, a classmate said that if our hero did not hide his smell, something could happen to him. But, Luo Li was confident in his actions, applying a protective scent to the child's hair, he said that he knew what he was doing. The girl thought a little. She gave her potion to the main character and said that it would be faster with two. After the entire team applied potions to the survivors, Song stood by the broken window and asked the others to hurry up. Grandfather approached Luo Li and took his hand, he began to thank him for agreeing to save him. Our hero said it was his duty. Grandfather said that the guy was a good person, he promised Luo Li that when they get out of here, the old man will reward the guy. After some time, only the girl and the main character remained in the room along with their people. Luo Li looked at his hand, it seemed that he had entered some new world. Also, from the forum the guy found out that he is a level A warrior or with 2000 percentages genetic power. You can easily hear an ant falling from a stone, and leaning against the wall, Luo Li understands that such a level will be very, very difficult to achieve. Suddenly, the girl looked at the main character. She asked hesitantly what he was doing and what he was thinking about. Luo Li said that he was thinking about life and the future. Unexpectedly, the woman looked at the guy and said that she was very sorry for what she had done. She was ashamed of what she had said about him earlier. Also, the girl asked for forgiveness and thanked him again for saving her. At some point there was silence, and at that moment they looked at each other. But nothing happened as the rest of the team returned to the room. Xu Chen immediately sat down next to the main character, the guy was very worried about Luo Li, because he was told that our hero needed help, and he rushed here like a bullet. Luo Li said that nothing would have happened to him. Suddenly, Song orders the fat man to hurry up and take the remaining people to safety. Xu Chen was annoyed by the commander's order, but still, he began to implement it. The guy took the girl on his back and asked her to hold on tight. And then the fat man jumped out the window and carefully began to lower the girl down. After all the survivors were rescued, Song returned alone and said that this would be their last visit. After these words, the guy takes out the bottles and gives them to the guys. The leader asked the guys to split up, because despite the fact that the guys would hide their smells, groups of cyclops could simply notice them. They did so, our hero was the last one left in this building, when the girl took her man and headed downstairs. 
After some time, the main character, looking at his watch, told the old man that it was time to move out. The old man jumped on the guy's back and said that if the Cyclops attacked them, then Luo Li could leave his grandfather to them. But our hero did not listen to the old man, he promised his grandfather that everything would be fine with him. And a few seconds later, the guy jumped out of the window, as if there was not the ground under him, but a very soft pillow. He was even able to overtake the girl who began her descent even earlier than him. Even the leader saw this incredible and courageous act. At the moment when there were a few meters left to the ground, our hero began to cling to the walls and thereby slow down. Song was perplexed by what he saw, the guy decides to quickly get rid of the main character so that there will be fewer problems in the future. Luo Li, thanks to his body and strength, was able to safely reach the first floor of the building without any incident. And suddenly, Luo Li sees his leader heading towards the Cyclops' nest. Our hero began to run to safety without slowing down. At some point, the guy stops on the roof of a building where no one should be nearby. Our hero tells the old man to quickly get off his shoulders. But as soon as the grandfather wanted to step on the ground, a large and loud explosion occurred near the guys. And from under the thick smoke a giant monster gradually appeared that was very similar to King Kong. This monkey had white fur, and on its head grew the same horn as the Cyclopes. The fiery monkey king began to destroy everything in his path and look for something. And when the main character noticed him, he was seriously scared. After all, he knew that the flame king was a very peaceful and kind animal towards people, but Luo Li was only worried about why the beast behaved like this. Unexpectedly, the guy hears the screams of his commander, Song shouted and called for help to our hero. But Luo Li refuses this offer to his commander. The guy warns his grandfather, saying that this time he will run several times faster. Immediately after these words, the main character, like a superman, takes off from his place. Song sees this, he understands that our hero cannot escape anywhere because he sprayed the guy with an estrogen solution in advance. The main character ran very quickly somewhere to hide. He was pursued by Song, he knew that if the king smelled this smell, he would pursue the main character until the end of his days. The huge gorilla actually did everything as Song said, the king with incredible desire wanted to catch up with Luo Li. Our hero got a little carried away, because he ran out of the area, in addition to all this, it was very difficult for the guy to carry the old man's body on his shoulders. Dripping with sweat, Luo Li thought about where he could hide. Still, he guessed to open the system window and look at the map. Our hero ran and looked where he could hide. After some time, the guy still finds the perfect place to hide. Song was still on his tail. The leader also became interested in where the main character was heading. Opening the map on his phone, Song guesses that our hero was heading towards the glacial basin. And then Song realized that Luo Li wanted to use the glacier pool to pacify the fiery monkey king. And at the same moment, the guy receives a notification from our hero about help with the royal monkey. Before approaching the location, Song sprays herself with an androgen solution to protect herself. After applying the solution, the man continued to follow. After some time, the main character reaches the glacial pool, the influence there was 800 percentages, so lowly this environment was not so scary. He could fully adapt and not experience pain in this environment. Unexpectedly, Luo Li looked at his grandfather, and at that moment the old man felt bad. Our hero threw him off his shoulder and hit him on an ice stone. The guy understood that his grandfather had no strength at all. And so, he gave him an energy medicine that would definitely help his grandfather. As he expected, the medicine actually helped grandpa wake up and come to his senses again, the old man thanked the guy for saving his life for the second time. Luo Li once again told the old man not to worry, because he promised that they would get out of this hell alive. When our hero turned around at the call of his name, then he saw Song standing in front of him. It was difficult for the guy to adapt to this environment, but despite this he had a lot of quality herbs and plants. In an instant, the sounds of an approaching gorilla were heard. She, no matter what, ran to the smell of the main character. And suddenly, the king stopped and began to sniff everything to smell that aroma. Hiding behind a rock, Luo Li told the leader that they had a chance to defeat the huge monkey. After hearing the whole plan, Song praised our hero for this idea. And then, the leader stopped hiding all his intentions and with a crazy look, the guy said that Luo Li would fight alone. Our hero, having heard these words, still could not believe that Song said this. But after that, the commander did not stop, 
he told Luo Li the whole truth about what he wanted to do to him and what he sprayed him with. Song pointed to the gorilla and said that he was very sensitive to female odors. Luo Li realized that he was in trouble, and grabbing the old man's hand, our hero went with him to run wherever his eyes looked. But here, his path is blocked by Song, he did not want the main character to run away somewhere. And using his power, the leader delivers a blow that sends Luo Li into the nearest ice stone. Song began to laugh, he said that our hero would not be able to escape from him anywhere. The leader was also surprised by how much this environment weakened Luo Li, but Song did not yet know how deeply he was mistaken. The commander suggested that at the moment, the main character had only 400 percentages of his strength. When Luo Li came to his senses, he told the guy that if he destroyed him, he would break the rules of the school. Suddenly, Song turns around and says that he will not destroy Luo Li. He said that the Monkey King would do it instead of him, and therefore the school would not suspect him at all. Luo Li was annoyed, he began to hate Song even more. At one point, the commander jumped back and remained standing on a high rock. The guy wanted to enjoy this spectacle. And at that moment, something unexpected caught his attention. Right at that second, the leader was attacked by a giant monkey king. He easily destroyed the rock on which the guy stood. At one point, when Song came to his senses and took a deep breath, the monkey noticed this, and with his huge bat he hit the man with such force, that he flew at high speed into a nearby rock. Song was on the verge, he could not move, much less take a normal breath. When he came to his senses again, he could not understand what was happening here. To this, our hero told the leader to study hard, otherwise he could be destroyed. When Song came to his senses, he stood up and began asking the main character why all this was happening to him. The commander sincerely believed that Luo Li had done something to him. Putting his hand on the wound, our hero said that Song was a very unpleasant and responsible person. Luo Li guessed that Song had been setting him up since they arrived in this city, and the guy also realized that the leader deliberately sprayed him with the wrong solution. Further, Luo Li realized that Song had specifically instructed him to accompany the latter in order to use the opportunity to lure out the Monkey King. Hearing all this, Song's face showed shock, he couldn't believe that the guy could guess his intentions. The leader even thought that Luo Li understood the language of animals, and that this whole plan was told to him by the Monkey King. The main character praised the commander for his rich imagination, and then he told the guy to take a closer look at the monkey, because in fact, it was a girl. Song practically went crazy. As it turned out, the male had black hair on the back of his head, while the female had dark gray hair. After all this, the monkey began to run straight towards Song. Our hero told the guy to enjoy an unforgettable time with the fiery monkey king. The leader tried to escape from the clutches of a large and furry beast. But when Luo Li saw these actions, he immediately ran up to the leader, the guy decided not to let Song go. Our hero kicked Song and said that his escape was impossible. From such a blow, Song was sent flying, he began to somersault and overcome tens of meters. Until soon, he landed, having come to his senses, the leader was incredibly surprised that the environment had no effect on our hero. Luo Li told the guy that he noticed it too late. The main character, looking at the leader with an angry look, said that he dug his own grave. Suddenly, Song felt something grab his leg. This someone turned out to be the king of the monkeys. The monster grabbed the young man by the leg and threw Song with all his might straight into the ice rock. From such a blow, the leader felt very bad, he gradually lost consciousness, and his strength also left him. In the eyes of the monkey woman, Song seemed somehow handsome. The monkey could no longer control himself. And without thinking twice, she dragged the guy into her hiding place. Song tried with all his might to escape from the monkey, but it had more strength than a man. As a result, the monkey was able to grab the guy. She pressed the leader even harder to the cold ground. And then something unpleasant and painful happened. When Luo Li saw this, he immediately felt uneasy, what was happening was even crueler than in adult films. Even grandfather, having lived his long life, had never seen such a unique scene. Hearing this, Lo Li said that he did nothing of the kind, and that Song dug his own grave. Grandfather stopped the guy's story, he said that Song had an evil heart, and therefore if someone finds out about this, the old man will act in favor of our hero. The old man and Lo Li agreed on everything. Suddenly, something happened to Song and he hit the monkey in the stomach with incredible force. So much so that she flew several meters and hit a rock. 
The main character was very surprised when he saw this. The monkey had a large injury in the abdominal area. Song was overwhelmed with strength and energy, now he became a completely different person. Lo Li took a closer look at the young man and immediately realized that something was wrong with him. Grandfather noticed the same thing, he immediately realized that Song had taken a gene enhancement potion. The old man said that this is the newest warrior potion developed by the Lin Pharmaceutical Company, after using it, the warrior genes were enhanced from 500 percentages to 1000 percentages. Luo Li was shocked by what he heard, he couldn't believe that this potion was so incredible. Also, grandfather said that this potion has not been on sale for a long time, it could save someone's life, but it also had side effects. Its effect lasted only half an hour, and when this effect disappeared, it would leave behind many negative consequences, a person could even become disabled because of it. At this moment, Song looked straight at the protagonist, he had an incredible desire to destroy Luo Li. And after a few seconds, he began to activate his abilities. Unexpectedly, the Monkey King entered the fray again, she tried to attack Song with her incredible strength. But, Song was several hundred times stronger thanks to the magic potion he took. And when the leader fought back the monkey, with just one blow he broke his leg, strong as steel, and then the guy hit her right in the stomach. But the beast was able to hold on and grab the man, and as a result, their battle gradually grew into a struggle. Our hero watched this from the side, he saw how the monkey king was losing in this battle. And therefore, he secretly decides to help the beast in this fight. He throws a small stone straight at Song's back. And he, distracted by this, could not block the monkey's blow. When Song looked at Luo Li with devilish eyes, the guy asked his commander for forgiveness. The main character continued to throw stones at the guy while he fought for his life. After some time, our hero began to openly throw stones openly. And the moment Song was stoned, the monkey king attacked him again. But the guy didn't give up, no matter what, he grabbed the paw of the giant beast. And with his blow, he pierced the stomach of the monkey king. And as a result, Song destroyed his opponent. With red and furious eyes, Song turns around and says that now it was the protagonist's turn to repeat the fate of the Monkey King. Hearing this, Luo Li very politely asked his classmate not to do this, after all, despite everything, they study in the same class. But Song had nothing to talk about with our hero, the desire for fight and destruction burned inside him. And at that moment when Song's fist almost toasted our hero, his strength suddenly disappeared. The guy couldn't understand what happened. And a few seconds later, Song falls to the floor completely exhausted. Luo Li sat down next to the guy and said that he had a lot of fun watching him go crazy. Then, the guy gets up and says that in this game he will take all the trophies for himself, since all his work has already collapsed. Luo Li quickly approached the monkey and began to examine it, on its back, the main character finds a green shell, which of course can be sold at a high price. After a few seconds, he removes all the fur from the body of the destroyed monkey. And already wrapped in this fur, the guy continues to search for something unusual. Suddenly, he notices some kind of blue crystal falling out of the same fur. To find out what kind of crystal this is, Luo Li points the camera at it, thanks to this, he learned that this crystal could increase strength by 100 percentages. Suddenly, someone appears behind our hero. When Luo Li turns around, he sees in front of him a fat man, Teacher Han and Jia Jia, the fat man was very worried about the guy, and therefore called for help. At the same moment, Jia Jia notices how someone was lying under the monkey skin. Luo Li saw this and said that there was a little bastard lying under her. The girl immediately understood everything, and horror appeared on her face. Luo Li noticed his teacher and asked him why he was here. Mr. Khan said that the task suddenly changed to the third level, and therefore the detachment would not have been able to cope without his help. Also, he was in a hurry here because Xu Chen called him for help, telling him all the way that our hero was in trouble. The main character understood that this situation was very unpleasant, and he could be punished for it. But the teacher didn't care about all this, he just told our hero to always be ready to save people in emergency situations. Jia Jia was still worried about Song, she approached him to examine him, and at that moment the girl thought about how Luo Li was able to bring the calculating song to such a state. After some time, the guys were back at school in the training room. There, teacher Han said that the school misjudged this task, and because of this mistake, five students died on the battlefield. The guys looked at the teacher, they were very sorry for those who stayed there forever. However, 
Despite all this, the teacher praised the children and said that they all did a good job with the task, and in honor of this, the school will give them awards for the third task. The girl asked the teacher what the reward for this task was. And the man said that all students will receive 200,000 yuan and 200 credits, and they will also be given leave. All the students were happy with what was said, some even thought that it was all a joke. At the same moment, the fat man grabbed the main character's hand and dragged him along. Luo Li ran with the guy all the way in bewilderment. And as a result, the guys ran to their dorm. And when they went up to their room, Xu Chen closed the entrance doors and pressed the main character against the wall. Luo Li was confused, he scaredly told his friend that he liked girls more than boys. Fortunately, nothing like that happened, Xi Chen suddenly started laughing and talking about the situation with Song and the monkey. Luo Li shook his head and said that he had nothing to do with it. Then, the fat man went to the refrigerator to get a cold soda, he also said that the main character should be careful, because because of this situation, Song's group will not allow him to live in peace. Our hero asked his friend if they would do something to him at school. Sik Hen, sitting on a chair, says no, but on the next mission, the fat man suggests that Song's group will definitely do something to our hero. To avoid conflicts, Xiu Chen suggests that Luo Li hide while at school. Having heard all this, our hero understands that his comrade's words had some meaning. In the morning, the main character wakes up from the first rays of the sun. He quickly sits down and takes out his phone. Having unlocked it, the guy sees a system welcoming him, which notifies the guy that all the funds have already been transferred to his account. Our hero was surprised at such speed, he was looking forward to going somewhere and spending money. The girl notifies the guy that a normal B-level warrior should purchase a weapon, it could easily increase Luo Li's combat effectiveness. And at that moment, our hero was already choosing a weapon for himself, in the lists he found a seven-pointed whip. But, it was too expensive, since the guy only had 400,000 yuan. Then, the system explained to the guy that he would not be able to use weapons of a higher level, since it would be very difficult for him to control them. The best choice was to take a weapon of the same level, and then Lo Li would be able to fully control it. Without thinking twice, our hero asked the girl what type of weapon he should buy. And after a few seconds, the system showed the guy that a standard level A weapon would be most suitable for him. This weapon turned out to be a shadow blade, and after strengthening it, the warrior could gain from 300 to 800 percentages strength. And then, the guy understood why those weapons were so expensive, because for their own improvement they could increase the owner's level by several hundred times. Our hero decided to buy a weapon, but he did not have enough funds for this, and so he decided to sell some of his things. He took out various armor and herbs from under the bed, in parallel with all this, the guy asked the system to check the value of these items. And after a few seconds, the system began to quote quite high prices for the items that Luo Li had collected. Then the guy asked how many points he had left to get to the next level. The girl said that our hero's current balance was 400 points, and he needed 500 to move to the next level. To get experience points, the guy asks the system how much he will get if he sells all his materials to the accounting center. And then, the system says that our hero can get 520 additional points. The main character really liked it, and he immediately told the system to sell them. After some time, someone knocked on the main character's room. When Luo Li opened the doors, he saw two men in black clothes on the threshold. He invited them inside, and they began to check the materials he was selling. After some time, the men said that they had checked everything. The main character saw with his own eyes a very amazing device, it was the size of a palm, but the teacher put all the objects in it. And then, the second teacher explained to the guy that this is a spatial container that uses the technique of folding space. While this amazing machine was putting all the things away, the teacher told the guy that payment had already been made. When the men left the room, a message came to the main character's phone that 500 points had been credited to his account. After receiving the money, our hero immediately went to buy a blade, after the purchase, he was told that his new weapon would be delivered in 12 hours. Luo Li was incredibly happy, because he did not think that his first weapon would be a grade A shadow blade. The guy had another 420,000 yuan in stock, he was thinking about buying him more. After all this, the system notified our hero that he should purchase special herbs or crystals, like the purchase of weapons, this was another important addition. As a result, Luo Li acquired wind steps that could improve his speed several times. 
The advantage of the Shadow Blade is a fast attack, if our hero increases the speed coefficient, the effects of the indicators will increase several times. Then, the guy chose to develop the speed effect gene, and Luo Li had to wait. After some time, someone knocked on our hero's door. The guy opened the doors, and on the threshold he saw a girl in a helmet, she was the courier who delivered the order. Luo Li immediately began to improve his genes. He sat down at the table and without delay injected a syringe into his vein with a magical substance to improve his own skills. His veins began to gradually change their hue to blue. To ease the pain, Luo Li shook his hand for several seconds. After all this, he began to test his abilities, and as it turned out, they worked perfectly. Looking at the screen of his phone, the main character saw that his speed had reached a thousand percent. The guy couldn't believe it, he went to the phone again to make sure of it. But when he looked at the screen, he saw that his speed had decreased by 100%. The guy was seized with panic, he didn't know why the speed dropped so quickly and instantly. After our hero hits the phone screen several times, the percentage immediately changes and returns back. After thinking a little, the guy suggested that the percentage could be hiding. A few seconds later, Luo Li lay down on the bed, he decided to rest and try again soon. When his speed decreased again, he saw this and already sitting on the bed, Luo Li understood why this happened, the guy guessed that as long as he was calm, his genes would be hidden. At one point, Xian called our hero, she was unhappy that he didn't call her, and the girl thought that he was hanging out with other girls. But our hero said that he always hung out with guys. This alerted Xian, she said that it was time for Luo Li to change. The guy was already tired of these jokes, and despite this, he asked the girl where she was. Xin said that she is near our hero's dorm, and Luo Li immediately went downstairs to the girl. The guy greeted Xin, but she, instead of greetings, began to accuse our hero of dating other girls. To this, Luo Li said that he simply did not have time for this. The girl really liked these words, and suddenly, she started saying something about Jia Jia. Our hero became wary. Xin admitted that the girl came to her house yesterday. The guy automatically asked if she wanted him to stay away from Xian, but everything was not like that at all. The girl said that Jia Jia came to her to apologize. Jia Jia said that she shouldn't have talked to Xian like that. Our hero was no longer worried, he stroked the girl on the head and said that everything was fine, because he thought that something bad had happened. The girl was also glad that everything was fine. Then, she said that Jia Jia told her that in a few days they were going to a reception for high school students, the girl also heard that they were going to gather a group to hunt animals. Our hero thought about these words, and it seemed to him a very good event. Luo Li put his hand on the girl's head and asked her if she wanted to go hunting with Jia Jia. The girl said yes, she also said that everything would be safe there since the expedition was being carried out under the supervision of teachers. Immediately after these words, Xian takes out two tickets and invites the main character to go with her on this hunt. Hearing this, the guy thinks, he understands that if he gets into this group, they can track down a beast of a special level, and having collected all the trophies from him, they could be sold at a high price. And after a few seconds, our hero agrees with the girl's proposal. Immediately after this, Xian ran somewhere, while running away, she said that it was time for her to go to a lecture on the combat tactics of warriors. After Xian left, someone called Luo Li. As it turned out, our hero's interlocutor turned out to be the same grandfather whom the guy saved. Luo Li was very surprised by this, the guy asked the old man where he got his number from. The old man said that because Luo Li was a student of Hyben genetics, grandfather could find out his number by asking anyone. The guy was even more surprised. The old man continued, he thanked the main character again and said that they needed to meet. To this, Luo Li said that saving the old man was his duty as a warrior. Hearing this, grandfather asked our hero whether he was the only child in the family. The guy replied that his parents left this world when he was only 12 years old. Grandfather thought about the guy's words, he knew that our hero was an orphan, and also a persistent, hardy and simply incredible person. And after that, grandfather asked Luo Li how old he was. Our hero said that he was born in the 92nd year of the Kunlun calendar. Grandfather figured that the guy was now 17 years old, and he really liked it. Luo Li found all this strange, he asked the old man why he asked him such questions. To this, the grandfather said that he had a granddaughter with whom he really wanted to introduce the guy. But our hero didn't want to listen to the old man, 
he started waving his phone to disrupt the connection. After the call ended, our hero guessed that the old man really wanted to offer him a couple. At this time, grandfather was in the hospital. A few seconds later, his assistant named Zhong came into his room, he asked his grandfather how it went. The old man with a smile on his face said that our hero had the courage to hang up. At this, Zhong just laughed. Then, grandfather asked the assistant, or he found out all the information about Luo Li. And then, Zhong began to tell all the details about Luo Li, first, he talked about where the guy studied. Then, he told how after the battle the guy was supposed to have a total strength of 750 percentages and was unofficially appointed as the descendant of Hyben genetics. Also, in relation to our hero, a secret investigation was conducted at the school, and all because when he was carrying out a mission, he was suspected of hurting a weak student. Zhong even said that Song's group did not intend to let our hero off the hook. Having heard about this group, the old man was thinking about how he could quickly pay them off. After some time, the main character is finally brought his weapon. And after a few seconds, the guy decides to try it in battle. He walked up to the training center. And opening the doors, Luo Li calls for robot trainers. And after a couple of seconds, the main character begins to fight and test his blade in battle against robots. During the battle, one of the robots tried to hit Luo Li in the head, but our hero was able to easily dodge such an obvious attack. The robot did not give up, he attacked Luo Li every time while he dodged him. At one point, the guy caught the robot making a mistake, and with a quick movement of his hand, he cut off the robot's head. At the last moment, the robot tried to take the life of our hero, but Luo Li foresaw this and dodged his attack in advance. The guy was happy with this fight. Suddenly, when he let down his guard, Luo Li was pierced by a robot. And the guy, out of powerlessness, dropped his sword from his hands, for a second he thought that he was finished. A few seconds later, the robot disappeared. When our hero recovered from the shock, he analyzed the whole situation and realized that he should train more with advanced level robots. A week later, the main character entered into battle with another high level robot. This time, there were already two of them. When the guy dodged their attack, he used his incredible speed to attack one of the robots. The robot no longer knew what to do, he already realized that his end would come. It was true, the main character, with one swing of his incredible sword, was able to cut two steel robots at a time. And the moment Luo Li effectively sheathed his sword, Xu Qin came to his training center, the guy was shocked by the skill of his comrade, he also asked him to teach him a couple of techniques. Hearing this, the main character began to explain to him the whole essence and how he should feel the blade, it was a little difficult for the fat man to understand all these words. But Luo Li said that it was not difficult, after all, when the guy's strength reaches 800 percentages, he should train hard and then acquire a shadow blade. The fat man thought this thing was funny. At one point, the guy was tired of standing on his feet, the guys sat down and our hero said that he felt like the genes in his body began to change, as if he was starting to progress again. But at the moment, he couldn't sense the breakthrough point. Xiuqin was upset when he heard that Luo Li was going to progress again, after all, the fat man had only recently reached the B level of the intermediate level. To support his comrade, Luo Li said that the speed of his progress was not that fast. But the fat man felt even worse, he asked the guy to stop. Luo Li asked his friend not to worry, because he had not yet found his way. Suddenly, a man in a suit came into the training center and, as it turned out, he came precisely to Luo Li. After the man was convinced that it was Luo Li in front of him, he introduced himself and said that he was a warrior of the Divine Alliance. Xu Qin was shocked by what he heard, as it turned out, he was their fan. When Zhang Wan was pleasantly surprised by the fact that the main character was very gifted, and even more so he could hide his emotions well. But, in fact, our hero has heard absolutely nothing about this organization. When Zhang Wan didn't drag his feet, he immediately invited Luo Li to join his organization, Xiuqin was shocked, he said that Luo Li hit the jackpot and he should join there. But our hero understood absolutely nothing what was happening here. The main character asked the man in surprise why he was inviting him, because his organization had fairly high standards for newcomers. When Zhang Wan said that they would make an exception for the guy, because they noticed him already when he carried out his mission last time. The fat man interrupts the men and asks when Zhang Wan if he needs to sign a contract to join the organization. When Zhang Wan was impressed that the fat man knew a lot about the warriors of the Divine Alliance. 
he said that if the guy joins the alliance, he will be able to access the initial warrior fund, which is 1 million yuan. The man continued and said that based on the good results of the guys, they will give an additional 500,000 and in the end there will be 1,500,000. Xu Chen could not stand still with joy, he was very amazed by this figure. But, the main character did not rush, he asked the man or he could think about his proposal for some time. He became interested that since this alliance decided to find warriors for itself, then other alliances could also do this. The fat man was shocked that our hero still had to think about this proposal, in turn, when Zhang Wan agreed and asked the guy to go away with him for a minute. While the fat man was looking at Luo Li's sword, the man asked the protagonist not to delay this proposal for too long. The reason for this was that Luo Li insulted Song's group, they had already taken action against the guy, and the school also planned to expel him. Luo Li was alarmed when he heard this. When Zhang Wan also said that Song's group will not give up, if something happens, the alliance will have no reason to help Luo Li. The man whispered in the guy's ear that if he joined, Song's group would have to think twice before taking action against him. Hearing all this, Luo Li quickly thought it over and agreed to join the alliance. When Zhang Wan really liked this, he extended his hand to our hero and welcomed him to the new organization. Two days after this incident, Luo Li was in the dining room. There, he dined with Xian. The girl asked Luo Li to eat more so that he would become more plump and beautiful. To this, the main character stroked the girl on the head and told her that she was a scoundrel. At that moment, Xian looked at her stomach and decided that she should keep in shape and train a lot. Looking at Luo Li, Xian saw that the guy had gained more weight. Then, our hero asked the girl what she had been doing in recent days, he assumed that she was just sleeping in the corner and enjoying the sun. The girl said that in the last few days it seemed to her that she was about to progress, but she always got stuck at a critical point. Hearing all this, Luo Li began to analyze and think about how to help Xian. At one point, he asked the girl to close her eyes. She did so, but still she did not understand why she should do it. When the main character put something in her hand, he asked her to open her eyes. Opening her eyes and looking at her hand, Xian saw Luo Li give her the beast crystal. The guy said that last time he hunted the fiery monkey king and got this crystal. This gift seemed very expensive, and Xian said that she would not have the opportunity to use it. But our hero insisted on his. And in the end the girl agreed to accept this gift. After the conversation, the couple stood up and headed towards the exit. Suddenly, a man with scars on his face and a huge sword behind his back approached the guys. Luo Li asked the man what was the matter. Huang Long said that he was from the university investigation team, and they suspected our hero of one case, and so the man approached the guy to take him away for interrogation. When Xian saw that Long had opened his hands and began to take Luo Li by force, she immediately intervened. The girl removed the man's hand from the protagonist's elbow in one easy movement. Long was at a loss. Xian said that the man could have been mistaken, and that this simply could not happen. Long activated his abilities and shouted to the girl not to interfere. And after a few seconds, a huge blue spherical ball formed in the center of the dining room. The schoolchildren looked at all this and did not understand what was happening here. One of them recognized Long, he told a friend that he was from the school's disciplinary investigations department. As it turned out, if someone is under suspicion from this department, then he won't live. Long began to ask the girl about her name, and the name of her teacher, after all, she publicly interfered with the investigation department. Luo Li stood up for his friend and said that this matter had nothing to do with her. Long immediately listened to the guy and said that she really had nothing to do with it. The guy told the investigator the name of Teacher Xian, and said that it really had nothing to do with her. The man knew Teacher Xian by sight, he thought that it was better for him not to get blacklisted by him. Long suggested that our hero do the smart thing, after the school investigates his case and he comes out clean, Luo Li will not have problems, but if the guy disobeys, then no one will help him. The girl whispered to Luo Li not to go anywhere, she said that if the guy goes there, even the innocent will become guilty. Our hero turned around, and patting Xian on the head, he said that everything would be fine, because he would simply cooperate with their investigation. After a few seconds, Luo Li said that he would go with the man. Long was dissatisfied that the guy did not realize his situation earlier, he asked Luo Li why he exposed himself like this. Some time later, in a luxurious mansion, the wounded Song was angry, 
he asked his father every time to avenge him. The father called his son abnormal, and said that Luo Li was a student at Hyben Genetics University. If he sends warriors from the corporation after our hero's head, the university will come to his door, and therefore the entire Song Corporation will be in trouble. But this didn't bother the guy at all, he incredibly wanted to quickly destroy our hero for what he did to him. The father asked his son not to worry, because he had already connected his connections to the case, as it turned out, Long became these connections. If everything turns out as the man expected, Luo Li will be expelled, and then he can be destroyed in any way. Song liked this incredibly much, now he wanted it to happen as quickly as possible, and he will do whatever he wants with the guy. Suddenly, three people enter the men's room, including Mr. Long. The father immediately jumped up from his seat and asked the man how things were going, and whether the main character had been expelled. Suddenly, a man in uniform asked those present who Song Jae was. The father examined the man's uniform, and after a few seconds he realized that law enforcement officers had come to him. Song, with a trembling voice, said that it was him. The man said that the guy was suspected of attacking other soldiers during a rescue mission. Out of surprise, the guy fell to the ground and asked his father to help him. The girl in uniform asked the guy to follow the law and cooperate with their investigation. Mr. Long looked at Father Song at this moment. The man nodded, and asked the guy not to panic, he should have just gone with the people from the bureau, and nothing more. The father also told his son to cooperate with their investigation and go with them. Song begged his father to help him, because he didn't want to go anywhere. After the man's son was taken away, he jumped up and approached Long, he didn't understand at all what was happening and why his son was taken away. Long took the man's hand from his shoulder and asked him about the past of the person with whom he should deal with this case this time. Without waiting for an answer, Long said that Song's father was in big trouble, since it was not Long who brought the employees here. The man broke out in a cold sweat when he realized that it was all the work of Luo Li. Song's father did not understand at all how this was possible, because the main character was an ordinary guy without any powers. Long suggested that someone else could be behind this, and perhaps someone asked a favor from the bureau. The father tried to come to his senses, he asked his friend what he should do now. Long reluctantly said that there was only one way out of this situation, and that was to go and beg for mercy from Luo Li. Some time later, the main character was sitting in the dining room with Van. Luo Li thanked the man, because if it weren't for him, the guy wouldn't even know when the investigation into him would end. Wang asked our hero not to worry, the man also did not expect that the Song Corporation would be so stubborn. The man also said that the people from the investigation bureau are not animals, they will finish after a couple of questions. The main character thanked the man again. Then Wang decided to play big, he passed on the information and the bureau will investigate. Luo Li asked about Song. Van told the guy that he was already there. At the same moment, the men heard someone approaching them. And here in front of them stood a guy in an employee's uniform, which those around him were afraid of. The guy took off his hat and asked our hero whether his name was Luo Li. After this, the employee began to pour coffee for everyone who was at the table, at this moment, then asked his friend why he was late again. The guy said that he had just dealt with a case about a conflict between some warriors, and immediately after that he came here. Then the guy looked at our hero and said that he was talented, Young heard that our hero was able to destroy the Monkey King alone. But after the guy invited Luo Li to join the bureau, Wang immediately approached him and said that our hero had already joined his alliance. Young quickly calmed down and invited the man to get down to business, the guy told him everything he would do and asked our hero not to worry. Luo Li immediately agreed and got down to business. After 15 minutes, Young said that our hero could already be free. Van was wondering what the end result would be. Young asked the men to come closer to him to tell him a secret. The guy said that our hero had already proven his innocence, but it looked like Song was in big trouble, and therefore why could he face a 10-year prison sentence? To our hero, this punishment seemed too cruel, he understood that the path of the warrior Song would come to an end. But Wang said that this period would be too short, and then he asked his comrade or Song could they have been given a devastating sentence. Young said that the guy's family spent a lot of money on this, and that's why they were allowed to set a maximum of 20 years in prison. Wang said that soon Song Group would come to our hero to beg him, asking for mercy. The main character was wondering why they had to come to him. Wang said that if they could get a pardon, 
their sentence would be cut in half and Song would be released in five years, Wang recommended that Luo Li desist. Luo Li once again thanked the man and said that he understood everything. At that moment, our hero's phone rang. When the guy picked up the phone, he heard Song's father address him, the man suggested that the guy discuss something. Wang, listening to the conversation, told his comrade that they both needed to be present at those negotiations. Yang said that our hero was in his debt, and next time Luo Li should treat the employee to lunch. After some time, four mercenaries enter one of the premises of the restaurant, among whom Song's father was hiding. Wang immediately assessed the opponents and told our hero about their characteristics. He just looked at the men silently. Song's father began to introduce his mercenaries one by one. He said that these four are warriors of the Bloody Blade Martial Arts Club. The purpose of their visit is that they want to talk with our hero about an issue related to the completion of the previous mission. Luo Li did not understand anything, he just silently looked at the men who came. Song's father, placing his hand on the chair, said that everything that happened before was just a misunderstanding. He said that our hero and Song are classmates and they should become friends, the father asked the guy not to do things that reflect badly. Luo Li asked the man what bad thing he did. The man said that they did not ask our hero to sign a letter of agreement without any compensation, and to make it successful, the man gave the guy 500,000 yuan. Luo Li, hearing this figure, stood up defiantly and asked his comrades to leave from here. One of the mercenaries asked our hero not to anger him. He asked everyone to take a step back, and after a brief convincing, the man once again asked the guy to accept this deal. But the main character was stubborn, he asked for 5 million yuan and after that he would sign the agreement. All the mercenaries, as well as Song's father, were incredibly shocked and they heard this figure. Song's father was furious, he never expected the guy to ask him for so much. Luo Li said that one year was equal to 1 million yuan, if everything is calculated, they will still make a profit. The bald man was also furious, he did not expect such impudence from our hero. The man with the scar on his eye said that Luo Li might run into trouble one day, and then there would be no guarantee. Before the man could finish speaking, Van intervened in the conversation, he asked the mercenary where he had so much courage to threaten one of the alliance of warrior gods. The half-blind man looked at Van and asked who he was. Without thinking twice, Van said his full name. And after a few seconds, the man realized who he was talking to. It turns out that Vaughn became famous for being able to destroy a beast a step above him during the beast outbreak last year. Van could not even imagine that there were still those people who remembered this nickname. Now the dialogue was led by Wang, he asked the man to give our hero 5 million yuan and not bargain. The one-eyed man told Wang that these days are no longer the same, after these words, he offered 3 million, and this was their last offer. Luo Li immediately said that he would take 3 million, but with this money he wanted a bottle of diluted revival elixir. The man with the scar got very angry, he said that now they had nothing to talk about, and therefore they would never forget this insult. At the same moment, Young joins the conversation, he asked if someone was threatening his friend. The one-eyed man called Young small and said that he was not allowed to speak. Young said he's not small. The guy also said that the main character is his best friend, and his worst trait is calming down rude people. At one point, Song's father saw that one of the martial arts regulatory bureau was sitting in front of him. The man with the scar said that it was all unfair. Young is pleasantly surprised that at least someone recognized him. All the bandits and Song's father were silent for a few seconds. Young said he wasn't on duty today, but he was here to join a friend over a cup of tea. Putting on his cap, the guy said that he heard something about the destruction of someone. The man with the scar said that nothing like that happened. Yang quietly switched the topic and asked about the outcome of the negotiations. Having not heard an answer, Yang said that if the men did not reach mutual agreement, he would begin an investigation into whether someone had threatened the warrior. The one-eyed man asked everyone to calm down and talk. At the same moment, Song's father says that he agrees to the main character's conditions. And after some time, two people enter the room, one of whom was holding a case in his hands. Song's father handed the case to the main character. And in turn, Luo Li signed an agreement. After all this, the men left the room. Without thinking twice, Luo Li took out the medicine from the case, which, he offered to take Vanna. But, Wang refused because he thought it belonged to Luo Li. Also, he told our hero not to thank him. Young intervened in their conversation, 
he hugged our hero and told him not to forget about the promised lunch. Wang said that now the guy had three million, and therefore the man did not advise our hero to buy armor. Luo Li asked his friend why. And what should I buy him? Wang said that it is easy to rely on armor in the initial stage, and so the man recommended that Luo Li purchase some herbs first. Yang approached the guys again, and this time he asked Wang why he didn't advise him when he was training. After the conversation, the guys went in different directions. Before leaving, Young again reminded our hero of his duty. A week later, the main character was fighting in the training center. There, he was attacked by robots. But he dodged every attack inflicted. Luo Li was able to destroy a couple of robots in one quick movement. As it turned out, he was waiting for the train, and to take time, the guy went to the training center. Luo Li noticed that his strength had increased, but he constantly felt that he lacked push, so our hero decided to go outside and train a little. After a few seconds, he leaves the room. At this moment, Xian calls him, the girl displeasedly asked the guy where he was. But, as it turned out, Luo Li completely forgot about the meeting with the girl. And so that she wouldn't wait long, the guy used his super speed to quickly get to her. After some time, Luo Li arrives at the meeting place. As it turns out, the ceremony will begin soon, and it will be bad if they don't make it in time. Xian handed the guy an invitation card. After receiving the card, Luo Li asked Xian whether it was normal for him to be the only one to come there in informal clothes. But Xian didn't care. At one point, the girl said that Li Tingxiao was interested in Luo Li. And as it turned out, the main character didn't know this at all. But Xian started hitting on the guy again for no reason. Our hero thought that the girl was very cunning. After some time, the guys finally get to the party. There was also Jia Jia, who looked very good. One of the men could not take his eyes off the girl. But not only he, absolutely every man looked at the girl like an angel. At this moment, Jia Jia looked at Luo Li, she thought that he would look at her the same way as other men. But the guy simply didn't care about her. And that made the girl a little mad. But, forgetting about this situation, Jia Jia approached Xian and told her to go with her to meet her friends. And after a few seconds, the girls approached two tall guys. The blonde asked Jia Jia about Xian. Jia Jia introduced Xian to the two guys. Shimin greeted the girl and said that he personally knew Yun, he said that he could introduce her to Xian. The girl said that she came here with her friend, while hinting at Luo Li. Jia Jia told Xian to go with her, because she probably wouldn't get such an opportunity anywhere else. And so that the girl would definitely go, Jia Jia asked her or she would refuse her. Luo Li saw this and told the girls to go. Xian looked at the guy and said, either they will go together, or she will come back. Shimin looked at the main character and tried to remember his name. Shimin's friend told the guy that Luo Li is the former Jia Jia. And hearing this, Shimin invited our hero to go with them. As they were about to leave, Shimin ostentatiously hugged Jia Jia to tease Luo Li. Everyone around thought that our hero was a weakling, because in his place, anyone else would have already started a fight. Xian looked at all this with pity. And then, she asked Luo Li to leave this event. To this, the main character said that they had just arrived, and it was too early to leave the room. Walking after Jia Jia, Luo Li says that she was indifferent to him. After some time, the boys and girls were having a nice conversation with each other. At one point, when Luo Li was eating, Jia Jia came up to him and invited him to talk. The girl reluctantly admitted that our hero's abilities and techniques were incredible, but she perceived Xian as a sister, and therefore the girl did not want the disagreement to affect her. The main character listened to all this, and then asked Jia Jia what she was trying to achieve. The girl asked the guy or did he know how many senior warriors the Li family had, she also asked some other questions about the Li family. To this, the main character responded with a question, he asked Jia Jia what she was going to do. The girl said that our hero could not help Xian, because only the king of warriors was suitable for her, but her head was filled only with Luo Li. Our hero was already infuriated by all this, he stood up and said that he never forced Xian to be with him. Looking at the girl with an evil look, our hero told Jia Jia that he would surpass the king of warriors. He asked her not to wait a little, and one day he would fulfill his promise. Jia Jia thought that our hero had matured, and therefore she looked at him completely differently. But she didn't even expect that the guy would become arrogant after a small achievement. In her heart, the girl sincerely hated the main character, she believed that during all this time the guy had not changed at all. 
The guys were discussing this welcome party, Shimon heard somewhere that this event was not planned, it was only organized at the request of his grandfather. Shimon and his friend were discussing their grandfather's granddaughter named Fair. the guys thought what their chances were for her to become their girlfriend. All three friends believed that Shimon would be the perfect match for Fair. Shimon decided to analyze his competitors, one of the main ones was a crazy guy named Hong Huang. The guy pointed his finger at Jia, Jia and said that he is one of those people who are fickle in love, but he will always love Jia, Jia. The girl was embarrassed by this and she pressed herself close to the guy. The main character watched this from the side, along with Xian. Xian immediately realized that Shimin said this very falsely, it even made the girl want to puke. At this moment, Luo Li whispered in Xian's ear to be patient for a while, and later he would buy her a kebab. Xian was very embarrassed by this, she banged her fists on the guy's chest and said that she wanted to eat 100 kebabs. At this moment, when Shimin and Jia, Jia were hugging, someone approached them. This someone was Hong Huang, he asked the men what was going on here. Shimin noticeably began to panic, he called Hong Huang Mr., and said that they had not seen each other for a long time. The rest of the friends also panicked at the sight of Hong Huang, they greeted the man in a cold sweat. Hong Huang had just overheard their conversation, and after that he asked who was the guy who would make a great couple with Fair. Shimin nervously said that Mr. Chu had heard everything, the guy said that except for Hong Huang, no one else deserved the precious daughter of the Yun family. Hong Huang asked the guy not to be nervous, because he was just asking, all men had the right to participate in fair competition. At one point, the man drew attention to Jia Jia. He called her a chick and asked who she was. Hong Huang assessed her body and began to gradually lift her skirt, saying that she must be good. Jia Jia noticed this and after a few seconds she removed the man's hands from the dress. Shimin told the girl that Mr. Chu was just joking. Jia Jia considered the guy a coward, because he could not stand up for her. Xian watched all this and could not calm down, she said that Hong Huang was an animal, because he went too far, and Shimin was a coward, because he could not stand up for the girl. At one point, Hong Huang puts his hand on Shimin's shoulder and says that last time his father didn't want to buy one potion, to this, the guy asked Hong Huang to take a cigar. Shimin refused to buy the potion because the price was too high. Hong Huang said with understanding that not everyone has the resources to become a modified warrior. After listening to the conversation, Luo Li asked the girl what this gene modification potion was. Xian said that this is a medicine that can increase the chance of activating a warrior's genetic potential. Taking a pack of cigars, Hong Huang said that in front of the modified warrior, any born warrior, was just trash. Xian was very infuriated by this, she began to scream and say that warriors improve themselves through hard training and perseverance, after these words, she called Hong Huang a nonentity. Jia Jia and Hong Huang looked at the girl at the same time. The people around were horrified, they didn't understand how some girl dared to provoke the son of the Chu family. Jia Jia asked Xian to shut up and apologize to Hong Huang now. But Xian didn't want to do this in any way, she was offended by what the guy was talking about them. Jia Jia covered Xian's mouth with her hand and said that her friend had just entered school and she didn't know the rules. Hong Huang approached the girl and said that if she spends the night with him, he will forget about everything. Xian refused, and then the man took the girl by the chin and told her to let him teach her a few lessons. Jia Jia again stood up for her friend, she said that Xian was still too small. Hong Huang began to overdo it, he would not refuse an evening with the three of us. Jia Jia tried to call her boyfriend, but he turned his gaze away and showed with all his appearance that he did not want to talk to her. Then the girl approached her boyfriend, but he suddenly hit her in the face. After the blow, he ordered the girl to be silent. Hong Wang walked up to Shimin and pushed him back. Then, he approached Xian and grabbed her, saying that after he taught her some good lessons, she would become obedient. At the same moment, someone hit him on the hand. This someone turned out to be our hero. Hong Wang was confused by what just happened. He immediately glanced at Luo Li as he put his fist back. Mr. Chu asked the main character who he was. But, not paying attention to the guy's words, Luo Li tells Shimin that all he could do was lose his composure in front of the woman. Shimin's friend thought Luo Li was crazy. His friends began to whisper, and some recognized Luo Li, one of them knew that the main character had recently completed a very difficult task perfectly. 
Someone said that Luo Li has gained little achievement and does not know his place. Shimin's friend shook his head and said that our hero would never be able to withstand Hong Huang. Unexpectedly, Jia Jia also hid behind Lo Li. The girl asked the guy whether everything was fine in his head. Hong Wang heard everything they just said. And at some point, he started laughing out loud. Mr. Chu, with rage in his eyes, looked at our hero and said that he really wanted to eliminate him. In an instant, he found himself in front of Luo Li, and, raising his hand, he said that now the guy will leave this world. People were terrified, they knew that Mr. Chu's genetic power had increased by at least 1300 or 1400%. 1, Jia Jia was already thinking about saying goodbye to our hero, she also thought that Luo Li could not cope with such a strong opponent. And now, between the guy's face and Hong Huang's fist, there were only a few centimeters left. The main character didn't even sleep a wink when such a force approached his face. And at the last moment, Lo Li dodges and with incredible speed goes behind Mr. Chu. The guy does a special fixation of his fingers, and pinches Mr. Chu's back. This move was very painful, and Hong Wong couldn't help but cry out in pain. Shimin's friend was in shock, he couldn't understand what just happened. Jia Jia also looked at all this with incredible surprise. People didn't believe that Mr. Chu could lose to some upstart. From such impudence, Hong Wong was furious, he shouted that today, he would make the main character bow and beg for mercy. At this moment, Grandfather Yun came into the hall, he was shocked by what was happening here. All the people around greeted Grandfather and admired how healthy and strong he was at that age. Jia Jia and Xian watched this from the side. Xian had already seen the old man somewhere, but she couldn't remember where exactly. Jia Jia immediately recognized who it was, she remembered that it was the old man whom they saved on the previous mission. Xian was worried about why everyone in this room admired him. Jia Jia knew that the old man was not simple, his corporation produced an energy potion that had already managed to save countless lives of warriors. Luo Li heard Jia Jia's guesses, and from them, he guessed that it was this old man who was the founder of the incredible potion. Jia Jia was sad that the Yun family had only one daughter, because if they had only one son, she would have tried to woo him. At one point, an old man emerges from the crowd. And then he waved to someone. Jia Jia was embarrassed by this because she thought that the old man was waving at her. The girl straightened her hair. And she pulled on her dress to show herself off well. As the old man walked towards her, the girl spread her arms to greet him. But, grandfather walked past her and approached Luo Li, the guy called his grandfather an old man and greeted him. Shimin and his friend were incredibly surprised when they heard what our hero called his grandfather. Jia Jia was convinced for the second time that Luo Li was crazy. Grandfather's assistant was furious, he yelled at Luo Li and said that our hero had balls for not respecting his elder. After this, the man apologized to his grandfather for the fact that the main character treated him so disrespectfully. Then, the old man reminded Luo Li that last time he hung up and didn't answer the phone. When Shimin and his friend heard this, they were both shocked. The guys understood that there was no ordinary relationship between the old man and the main character. Hong Wang was also perplexed by all this, he did not understand what Luo Li had that Grandpa Yun was so grateful to him. The old man took the guy by the hand and said that because Luo Li saved him last time, he would receive some gratitude. Our hero said that it was all just a trifle. Shimin's friend choked on his wine in surprise. The old man told the guy that this time he would not be able to escape, he asked our hero to follow him so that later he could express his gratitude to him. Luo Li said that he had things to do, and also that at that moment his cat was giving birth. At that moment, he quickly approached Mr. Chu and asked him for his words that the guy had to bow and ask for mercy. Hong Wang was very worried, and so he asked our hero for forgiveness. He asked the guy to forgive his rudeness and not pay attention to his words. Everyone nearby was in incredible shock. Even the people around them couldn't believe what they just heard. Luo Li asked the guy if that was all he wanted to say. Hong Wang asked our hero what he needed. Luo Li asked the guy to apologize to Xian. Hong Wang approached the girl and asked her forgiveness. He also took out special herbs from his pocket. It was an immortal herb worth 50,000 yuan, the man gave it to the girl for all the troubles. After all this, the main character and Hong Huang reluctantly shook hands. Our hero understood that this was not the end, and he would wait for Mr. Chu's revenge. The guy said that he would definitely return and take revenge on the main character for everything. 
Jia Jia was incredibly shocked that Luo Li could know Grandpa Yun. After the showdown, the guy approached the old man and asked him for forgiveness for making him wait. The old man said that everything was fine, and then he said that when the guy quickly hung up, he still had one more question. Our hero asked the old man what kind of question it was. Grandfather with a strange grin asked the guy if he had a girlfriend. The old man said that his granddaughter returned today, and so he was eager to introduce them. Absolutely everyone around was shocked after they heard what the old man said. Luo Li reluctantly agreed to the old man's proposal. After his words, grandfather asked everyone present to enjoy this party. When the old man left the premises, he called his man and asked him to analyze the date of birth and eight horoscope signs for romantic destiny. Our hero quickly guessed that the old man decided to marry his granddaughter to him. Later, when the performance was about to begin, a man came on stage and said that Madame Yun had plans and therefore everything was cancelled. Already at night, the main character and Xian were returning home, on the way, the girl still could not forget what her grandfather said about eight horoscopes and birthday dates. Our hero did not understand at all what the girl was talking about. Suddenly, Xian asked the guy whether he was pleased to get along with the precious daughter of the Yun family. Luo Li patted the girl on the head and said that he would not come close to this. Xian was furious, she knew that our hero wanted to meet Fair, but Luo Li said that he was not interested at all. The guy thought that the girl could be a child who weighs about 100 kilograms, because she didn't even dare to show herself. Hearing these words, Xian clung to our hero and asked him. Wang and Fair watched this from the side. She was very angry with the words that the main character said. She asked Wang if Luo Li was exactly the one grandfather was talking about, Wang said yes without hesitation. Fayer openly said that she was not interested in our hero at all, in fact, she was interested in knowing what outstanding abilities he had. Wiping his sweat, Van agreed with the woman's words. Also, Fayer mentioned that her grandfather suggested that she take Luo Li with her to the expedition team, the girl considered it troublesome. At the same moment, the main character grabbed Xian's hand. He, clinging to her, said that he could not refuse his grandfather's offer, even if he was joking. Coming even closer to the girl, Luo Li tells her that grandfather could also joke with his people. And so, when the guy was already pressed against Xian, at this moment, the girl pushed Luo Li to the ground and lay on top of him. But it was all a dream, since the main character woke up from someone shaking him. This someone was Xiuqin, he tried to wake up Luo Li for some time. And at one point, the guy was tired of all this, he was angry because his friend could not wake up for so long. And when the fat man said that someone came to our hero, Luo Li immediately opened his eyes and sat down on the bed. The guy with glasses said that he came with his friend, they were both from the school martial arts union. The guy with purple hair congratulated the main character and said that he was chosen as a member of the school expedition team. And when our hero wanted to ask the guys something, they left the apartment in a second and slammed the door behind them. The guys were very worried, because Fayer asked them not to tell Luo Li that it was she who strongly recommended joining the expedition team. After everything that happened, Luo Li took out his phone and wrote to Xian that he might go on an expedition. The girl was glad to hear this, since she was also planning to go there. She said that they came to her just like to our hero. After some time, Luo Li decides to go to the training center, putting on his sweater, the guy invites the fat man to go with him, but he refuses. Already in the afternoon, the hero was approaching the school's training center together in a crowd. Approaching the front door, the main character hears someone already training there. Luo Li opened the doors and looked through the gap. There, he saw a lonely boy named Jean who was fighting with two high-level robots. When they tried to attack him, the unknown guy took a special stance. And in an instant he disappeared. A second later, he destroyed one of the robots. And then, dropping his blade, the boy was about to destroy the robot with his fist. When the guy waited for the right moment, he was able to deliver an accurate and strong blow to the robot's head. From such a powerful attack, the robot flew to the side. Luo Li was shocked when he watched all this. When an unknown guy named Jean finished his fight, he noticed how the main character was watching him from the side, and without thinking twice, he invited Luo Li to fight him. Our hero was surprised to hear this. And after a few seconds, after thinking everything over, Luo Li agrees with the boy's proposal. Luo Li instantly saw the guy immediately begin to attack him. The main character was surprised by the speed of his opponent's maneuverability. And this is not in vain, 
because after only a second, the boy finds himself right in Luo Li's face. At one point, the guy strikes the main character, but thanks to his quick reaction, Luo Li was able to block this blow. Having reconciled their forces, Luo Li and the unknown guy named Jean retreat to different corners of the room. The main character has not fought with a strong opponent for a long time, this minute fight took a lot of strength from him. Luo Li needed to catch his breath and normalize his condition. An unknown boy saw this, he hid his swords. And then, introducing himself, Jean said that he was a third-year student at this university. And leaving the room, Jean told the main character that he hoped that they could cooperate in this expedition. Early in the morning of the second day, Luo Li and Xian meet at the gathering place, there, the main character gave something to the girl. Namely, the same small spatial bag that he saw from teachers who came to him to collect his resources. Luo Li was offended that Xian called him an offensive name every time they met. The girl grabbed the main character's hand and asked the guy what else she should call him. After that, Luo Li hugged the girl. And then he kissed, several guys watched this, they found this scene very disgusting. After some time, the main character and Xian went to a special building where the main group gatherings were held. There, they walked along a long corridor to find their room. At one point, the main character felt a very powerful force. As it turned out, it came from Fair. At that moment, the girl asked whether the whole team was assembled. When Luo Li saw Fair, he was embarrassed by her beauty and attractiveness. When the main character and the girl entered the room, they saw how the rest of the team had already gathered there, including Fair. The boys from this group were really looking forward to fire finally coming. The main character still could not get over this state when he first saw the girl. Unexpectedly, Luo Li heard two guys talking about that showdown with Mr. Chu. Luo Li was embarrassed as the phrases of the guys who were jealous of him flew past his ears. At one point, Fair, she was already tired of listening to all this, she defiantly looked with an angry look at the crowd of guys to scare them away. This method worked, and the guys turned away in different directions and fell silent. At the moment when Luo Li was still looking at the girl, he was suddenly pinched by Xian. The girl was unhappy that the main character was staring at Fairy. When the entire group was finally assembled, Fair signaled to Teacher Han that everything was ready. As it turned out, all this time Teacher Han was sitting behind everyone. The man suddenly jumped from the back row. And landing near the crowd, he said that this time they would go to an E-tier city. The mission of this expeditionary group of the group is very serious, the guys had to destroy a master level beast, Fayer found out in advance that he was injured, there were also a lot of treasures in the city. Some team members were terrified of what they had to do, Teacher Han said that after the team goes to the city, they will no longer be students, and those who escape from the city will fail the mission. They will be punished very severely. At this moment, Luo Li thought that the teacher wanted to scare everyone. After his explanation, the man said that they were leaving. Twelve hours later by train, the team arrives at the destroyed station. Xian and Luo Li immediately left the train. Xian was incredibly glad that they had finally reached their destination, because over the past 5,000 kilometers, her legs had become numb. Unexpectedly, Luo Li and the girl at one moment turned their heads to the side. The guys were surprised when they saw a destroyed and broken train on the neighboring rails. Some guys were very scared, they could not imagine such a picture at all. Xian thought that the best solution to come here was to fly by plane. At that moment, Jia, Jia approached the guys, she explained to the girl that on their way they could have encountered many flying animals, and if they had seen the plane, then most likely the monsters would have attacked it. Xian heard her friend's thought and agreed with her. Jia, Jia looked at the main character strangely and asked him to take care of Xian. Luo Li hugged the girl and said that he would do everything. This made Jia, Jia a little angry, at some point, the girl even became jealous. She turned around and offended went to the rest of the guys. Immediately after this, the main character spanked the girl and told them to quickly catch up with the others. The team drove through former residential areas where ordinary people once worked and lived. The squad traveled in a big red jeep. And at that moment, they crossed the exit gate to the E-level city. At the same time, the men who were with Song's father were planning an attack on the main character. Dao asked his partner, whether he was afraid to pull off such a complex matter. The man in the blindfold said that he was not afraid of anything, he was just worried that if they struck and alarmed the university teachers, they would be in big trouble. Dao said that they should just take advantage of the good opportunity to surprise the group. Even if they were caught, 
the men didn't have to leave any evidence behind. Dao had a motivation, he knew that Song's father paid the main character three million and a bottle of revival elixir. Therefore, the man decided to destroy Luo Li in order to take all his valuables and treasures for himself. A few seconds later, the team leaves in different directions to track our hero's group from different positions. 